Hey guys, so today as promised, I'm doing a short video on the covered bridge. So a little bit about the history of it. It was originally built either in or around 1919, so almost a hundred years ago. Um, and it remained in its original state, as far as we know, until around 1970s, sometime in there, when the owners of the farm at that time jacked the bridge up, uh, put steel or poured concrete pilings, and then they put four steel I-beams underneath the bridge to support it. And so, of course, at that point, the arches uh, on either side of the bridge really weren't doing much as far as supporting it. Uh, it was all on the steel I-beams then. Uh, they also replaced the siding at that point as well. So all was well with the bridge until 2007. And in 2007, a huge flood came through the area and nearly washed the bridge out. Uh, the one end almost washed out, but the concrete piling held and it kept the bridge from collapsing down into the water underneath. And so they had to scoop all the big rocks back up underneath there, kind of fill it back in so that they could once again get across the bridge. Then in 2012, a different huge windstorm came through here and it nearly knocked the bridge over then. Uh, cracked some of the timbers, but fortunately there happened to be a tractor and a round baler inside of the bridge when that happened. So when the bridge started leaning, uh, it pressed against the uh, the baler and the tractor and it kept it from falling all the way over. So at that point they were able to use some cables to uh, pull the bridge back up into place and secure it. And that's the way it stayed until this past spring. And this time when the windstorm hit there wasn't anything inside to keep the bridge from going over. So unfortunately it went into the creek. The, the day that it went over, uh, we were able to clean up some of the debris and then uh, we went out the next day afterwards and cleaned up the rest of it, except for the roof, which was right down in the creek. And we really didn't feel like going swimming on it that day. It was kind of cold out, so we waited until a bit warmer day and then went wading in the creek and were able to get the rest of that cleaned out. Uh, and also, we're planning on taking the the arch beams uh, off from the bridge because they aren't doing anything right at the moment, and we want to try and keep them out of the weather and keep them in good condition. Eventually, we would like to rebuild the bridge. Uh, it's it's part of the farm. I mean, it's it's been part of the farm for almost a hundred years, and it's it's kind of missing something down here without it going across the creek. So it's definitely something I would like to get rebuilt. Uh, one thing I've been considering doing is I've been looking into buying a bandsaw mill and if and when I get that, uh, that would allow me to use trees that have been cut from the woods and back of the farm and then saw all the lumber that we need for the bridge so that way everything for the bridge is coming off from the farm again. It's not coming from Home Depot, it's coming from right here. And so I think that'd be kind of cool. But it's not going to be something that gets done immediately. Uh, hopefully it'll get done in the next maybe year or two. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it could be done by 2019 because that would be the 100th anniversary of the original bridge. But I don't know, we'll see. Uh, We'll do our best to get it done as soon as possible, but there are other things to be done that are more important than that. So that's about all there is on the bridge. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time.